Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be updating the navigation system on the Palisade 2023. However, the same process can be used for any other Hyundai models. If you like this content, consider subscribing and liking the video for more content like this. All right, let's jump right in. We are going to need a computer and a flash drive at least uh, have it be 64 gigs of memory as the file might be a little bit bigger. I think mine is like 32 gigs or something like that. So yeah, those are what you will need. You can do this on the Mac or Windows. In this case, I'll be using the Mac. Uh, just to note, this is a 23 pounds of calligraphy. This model and trim should have the option to do over the air updates using Blue Link account. However, my blue link services are not working at the moment for X reason. So I'm hoping by doing this update, it will fix it will fix that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my situation right now. So to start, let's go ahead and use our handy dandy Google. Go ahead and Google Hyundai update. I am in the US, so these are the results that I will get. Let's go ahead and jump in. Go to navigation, update or uh, navigation. Go ahead and download it. Scroll down. And this is where you have the option for Windows or Mac. Okay. So go ahead and download, download the file and install the program. Okay. Once you have installed the software, go ahead and open it. And when you open the software for the first time, you'll be asked if you want to sign in with your Hyundai information. I do have an account, so I went ahead and signed in. You'll be greeted with this screen. Go ahead and select the model of your car in the year. So mine's Palisade, the 23. Let's go hit OK. So the next screen is going to um, ask us pretty much where we want to store the updated file. Okay. So we can store it, for this case, we're gonna use this flash drive. I am using a 256 gig SanDisk USB drive. So let's go ahead and connect that in. There we go. So now the software did recognize the new flash drive. I'll go ahead and click the drop down menu. And I'm gonna select this one, flash drive, because that's the one that I just put in. And if you, I recommend having this flash drive specifically for this update because you will have to format the flash drive. So if you have important uh, data in that drive and then you format it, you will delete all the data that you have in the flash drive. So keep that in mind and the software is going to actually give us that warning on the next screen. So let's go ahead and hit next. And then it tells us confirm selection of portable storage device. Use this portable device. The selected storage device will be formatted during the update. Please check the stored data beforehand. So, yes. And then formatting will delete all data. So, this is going to give you a warning, okay? So, for this case, I have downloaded the file already into the flash drive. I'm not going to download it again or reformat it again but you would do just hit yes and just wait for the file to download into the flash drive all right so once you have uh download all the uh, well the files to the flash drive uh go ahead and open your flash drive and this will be the files inside okay this is what you're going to need um for the update the next step is to go ahead and disconnect your flash drive from the computer. Please disregard my dirty, smudgy screen. <laughs> Sorry for that. Didn't have time to clean it. So go ahead. Once it's ejected and ready to be removed, go ahead and remove it. All right. Next step will be to connect the flash drive into the car. You will want to use this port right here, the one that you use for your car play and that sort of a thing. Uh, this is the only port in the car 
that you have to use for the update. If you connect it to any other USB, it's not gonna work, okay? Go ahead and connect it. All right, now it's reading the USB on the screen and it brings up this, uh, this screen right here. Start the audio system update. Uh, update now. Let's go ahead and update now. Okay. Press the start button to proceed with the audio. No other functionalities, including blah, blah, blah. They're not going to work. Okay. Total update time, 45 minutes. Jeez. It's going to be a long update. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and see details and see. Okay, so if you hit details, I guess it tells you what kind of updates, okay? What kind of updates? Uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go ahead and start an update. All right, so while the navigation system is updating, I wanted to make a quick side note and some quick tips that you can use to see what kind of software you're currently in and what software is the latest, okay? So once you're in this navigation update website from Hyundai, go ahead and select notifications. It's gonna bring you all the latest notifications um, there are. So you can see here the navigation. I think that's the one we are installing at the moment, if I'm not mistaken. Um, go ahead and click that, and then you can select list of eligible vehicles available to download. Uh, select that one. Okay. So this is where you have the the list of all the cars, models, uh, the types of navigation system for each car. Also the SW version, map version. And the model name so go ahead and find the appropriate model for for your car in my case it's right here it's the palisade the very bottom palisade and i'm doing the 2023 so that one's it's using the standard gen 5w navigation and it's going to tell you the the pretty much the software version okay so mine was a different software version than what is shown here. That's what we are updating. And once it's updated, it should match uh, this numbers right here. But anyways, I just thought this was a pretty cool, cool uh, list that you can use. That way you can see what version you're currently in on the navigation and which one it should be in. Okay. Once again, you can find it in the navigation website from Hyundai. So I just came back to the car. Um, I actually um, turned the car off and went home for dinner and came back to see if the update was completed. And it seems like it is. So you will be greeted with this pop up message what's new and it tells you all the little codes and whatnot. And you can hit details, and I think it might give you the details. There we go. Sign of nature, which I hardly ever use. And what else? New eco design theme. All right. So those are the changes, I guess. It's got French and Spanish. I'm actually gonna, going to go ahead and start the car. <laughs> there we go. I was afraid it was not going to start, but uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see what else? Enhance North America radio infotainment display, and yeah, I mean, I guess it looks like not a whole lot changes, or maybe they haven't put it on the description. But hopefully, with this latest um, upgrade, most of my issues have been solved with the. Um, 
with the uh, digital keys and blue link not linking to my profile so i give you guys an update but just kind of recap let's go to setup general and it will tell you right here actually we're almost updated 11 i mean one january 30th which is today so that's pretty cool that that's there anyways um if you guys have questions please leave it below um and, and yeah i'll be making more content if you like the the content please like subscribe and i'll be making more more of these videos all right have a great day bye bye